and get your kiss on. We in, baby. We in skis. We in skis for the win skis. What's up, my quesadillas? Back at you with the brand new video. You know how it is. We out here. We out here. You know what I'm saying? We doing the thing. We doing the do. We doing it all. We're going to answer some questions. K and Chelly. A Che Q&A. Call it a Q and Che. But yeah, I asked everyone on Instagram to ask me and Chelly questions. And this is what we got. Something smells like booty. And I don't know if it's me or you. Yeah, no, I think your left booty cheek might be stinking up the place. When you and Kay broke up the first time, did you guys think you would get back together? Um, no. Um, no. Really unexpected when we did. Hey, Chad. I said. It was really unexpected when we did. Yeah, I thought after we broke up the first time, that was just it. Like, that was just a little fling. And I never talked to Kay again. I was just watching videos. <laughs> That's a real case of deer right there. See, every girl I've talked to in the past, once they start talking to me, they stop watching my videos. They some face of deers. <laughs> How often do you visit her? We've been dating for like a year now, mm -hmm. and so far I've seen her last Christmas and just this summer. So it's basically been like every six months, but I don't think I'm gonna go back to America this Christmas, so we might have to wait till next summer. So it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a long time. We'll see what happens, but I think I'm gonna have Shelly come here just in time for the 2020 Olympics and show my world. Has Chelly ever felt ignored and how do you handle that? I, I tell you, I talk to you about it like, what the hell? What's going on? Are you guys besties? <laughs> <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Yes, right. we are. How long have you guys been dating? P.S. I love you guys. If you really loved us, you would have watched this video, which explains the whole thing. Favorite physical and non-physical feature about each other? Physical and smile. My favorite physical feature? Definitely her lips. Her lips. Or her eyes. I don't know. Her eyes go crazy. Um, I fuck with that mole too on her left eyebrow. Favorite non-physical feature? Loyalty. My loyalty? Yeah. That's boring. That's like a given. Yeah, love. Nah, that's so boring. But all right. <laughs> that's so boring. Your thoughtfulness, like even when the pick the fan, you think about the good over the bad. Talking to my. Oh my goodness. Alright, but it's okay. I think I think they heard you. My favorite non-physical feature about Chelly is uh, her curly hair. It's still. Physical. Oh, my favorite non-physical feature about her is that she's Mexican. That's boring. She's just a rider. You're just a good girl. Like, you don't got an ego. You just act right. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, you are just not like these other i I've been no one like you. You do what a girl does best. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm -hmm. Any advice to try to get with someone you like? Um... Shelly, you don't really know how to do this one. Just be yourself. Yeah. Like, be 100% yourself. If you think her top lip stinks, like, let her know. Don't be afraid to look mean or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Say everything that's on your mind and have a passion. Work hard. I think for girls, you gotta, like, you gotta ride with them. Girls grow on us. With guys, it's not really about the girl. It's about just being that someone that a girl wants to ride with. All right. That's all I'm gonna say. Chelly hates when I get into all, all this. <laughs> I just got too many opinions about this. What was the sweetest thing Chelly did for Kay and vice versa? She flew out to come see me. The sweetest thing she did for me is showing me her cute ass face every single day. Would you live together in USA or Japan? It's hard for me to be away from my mom, especially across like the whole world because I'm just really close to it. But I would love to live in Japan too. So. Yeah. Chelly's a small town girl in a small town world. She lives in the middle of nowhere, which is in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Like an irrelevant city in an irrelevant state. That's where she is. So yeah, Ch Japan would be a big deal for her, but it'd be cool to live out here. Japan's amazing, but the one thing that would make it better is if Chelly was here. But we'll have to see, but most likely USA, because USA's yeah. chill. How do you guys meet? 
watch the video. Ah, I was gonna say that. I was <laughs> What's one thing you guys both make sure to remember when things get rough? I just think about all the tacos in the future. I just think about how far we've come and like how much time we invested into each other. I don't know. I just. I would hate for all that to be thrown away, so... What? That's a mm -hmm. dumb reason. Even if it's not a healthy relationship, then... Okay, that's a different story, but this is a healthy relationship. Okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> all right people are always telling me they wish they have what we have and the truth is this is pretty hard to find like i didn't ask for this this just happened to me this just came to me but to get a relationship like this first of all you gotta be cute and then the stars have to align perfectly and the circumstances gotta be exactly on point for you to just like You know what I'm saying? So with these chances, you're probably not gonna find love. But to make it a lot easier to find your true love out there, East Me East is the way. It's an app that focuses on the things that matter, like interests, goals, values, not just looks. For the people who are struggling in that department. But yeah, meeting Shelly online, talking and connecting with her is just like how you would find your Shelly on East Me East. Or your K. That might be a little harder to find, but you know, sometimes dreams do come true. There's actually a subreddit full of successful couples. You can post yourself on there and enter in a contest. What's the prize? What's the prize? Yeah. You're the prize. Now I'm playing, but the prize for the contest is a $500 luxury hotel voucher. So you find love on East Me East, and then you got a chance to win 500 bucks, basically. Like, what the frick? But yeah, I'm gonna actually post us on the subreddit. Alright, let me post us, post a picture of us. Alright, boom. Nominated ourselves in the contest. There's actually a lot of couples on here too. But seriously, click the link in the description below for the subreddit and the app itself. If you're trying to find something like me and Shelly, East Me East is the best way to do it. Hashtag East Me East works. Alright, next question. Is it still a party? Let me check. Alright. No, we're down to 24%. Wow, we're making, uh, we're getting good time management. And you look adorable too. You're so cute. Come on, kiss me. Alright. Yeah. yeah. You can do that. You can do this on East Me East. I'm telling you. Shelly, would you consider learning Japanese for K? Yes. Yeah. But more for his mom. More for my mom? Yeah, that way I can connect with her on like a different level. Maybe she'll be impressed. She's learning Japanese. I'm learning Spanish on Duolingo. So we're practicing. We've been kind of slacking lately. We need to get back onto that. Like a lot. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to get back into that. Do you ever think of breaking up with Chelly? <laughs> no. Do you two agree on music? Yeah, she fucks with all my music. He likes some of my music, just like I like some of his. Yeah, she fucks with all my music. I fuck with some of hers, basically. While he was here and I was playing volleyball, he had my phone and he just was putting a bunch of music in. So now, all I hear was rap. 99% of the time, I play any random song. Hey, that's what's up. What made you fall in love with each other? I don't know. It just happened. It okay, let me answer. Let me answer the question. Okay, now you go. I need to think about this. I'm just gonna finish the question. Say what you're gonna say. No, I need to like think about how to word it. I fell in love with her because I broke up with her the first time. I just didn't think much about her. She was just like a random, just another girl. She definitely was extra cute than other girls, but I just wasn't thinking about like relationship or anything at the time, I guess. But like even after I broke up with her, after just breaking her heart and stuff, she was always just sweet to me. So I just naturally like called her and stuff just to like talk to her about random shit like whatever I wanted to say she was always good to me the whole time and she just grew on me the reason she fell in love with me is because I'm K that's all there is to it oh my goodness I knew it <laughs> um, what do you gotta say Chelly? huh? see that's the answer right? you don't even need to say no, anything yeah, exactly. I answered the question. I answered your no, question. You didn't. I, just said, I said everything you wanted to say. Just you admit said it. everything about how you did. And then you're like, and she fell in love with me. Because I'm okay. That's, why, I, that's, I'm I'm okay. that's why you fell in love with me. <laughs> you couldn't even help it. 
How do you manage, maintain a strong relationship with your girl? It's because I'm strong mentally, so I could like deal with her bullshit, basically. Mm. That's like kind of how it works. You do with my own. What do you mean? Like she's putting he up with my shit? And then I tell him stuff, so he puts up with what I tell him about what he's doing. Yeah, exactly. Like she gives me shit about what I'm doing, and then I have to put up with the shit that she's giving me because of what I'm doing. Here's how you solve it though. Are you ready? <laughs> Just listen. Just ready? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm trying, you know, I try, I try. I'm always trying to improve. Men out there, you just gotta be strong, like, keep it logical. Don't get on that women, that emotional shit. That's when we lose. That's when we fucking... That's when it just gets dumb. That's when you lose your girl. Keep it on a logical level. And girls will try to play you, get you on that emotional level, but don't, don't let it get to that. Just be like, hey, this is how it is, babe. This is what's up, this is what's going down, this is how it's gonna be. Just find a solution, get there, just talk. Constructive talks. Would you ever go to the strip club with your girl? No. I don't know why I would go to a strip club when like, I could just get my own private show. I could just get a solo performance. Who made the first move? I texted you first. I texted you first. Yeah, she texted me first. And I think I was just... It wasn't really like a first move. I was just flirty the whole time, I think. Yeah, you were. It was basically like we were already together from the start. The question was more of like, who makes it official? The whole story is in this video right there. Yeah. Alright, um, did you guys ever expect your relationship to last this long? No. No. Yeah, why well, are we still together? Because we met and locked it in. You locked it in? What are you talking about? I locked it in, there's no getting out. You already met my dad, so you're screwed. How do you deal with missing each other? We tell each other we miss each other. Yeah. That's, that's it, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Do you guys have an open relationship? Yeah. No. Okay, okay. How often do you text, video chat, call each other? Every day. Let me move you up here so you're more like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you guys play any online games together that are great for people in LDR? We play this game called Battle Brothers. It's pretty lit. And then League of Legends on the phone is coming out pretty soon. So in 2020, we're going to be playing that. I'm going to show her how to play League. How do you keep things spicy from a distance? Play games. We watch videos together. We just talk a lot. That's to make it spicy for her. But to keep it spicy for me, it's just. It's a very simple thing. It's a very simple thing. Hey. How do you build strong trust in an LDR? I don't know. I don't have this problem, but I know Charlie does. She's like always freaking out about what I'm doing and stuff. I'm not. I just worry about him when he goes out. So I just ask him to tell me when he's going out. Yeah, sometimes I forget to tell him I'm going out. And I'm like, what the fuck? Because Japan, as fun as it be, you can go wrong. You never know. You're right, babe. Thanks for worrying about me. I'm also in an LDR, but we haven't met yet. Is going in for a kiss in the first seconds a good idea? You can do whatever you want. Like, but me and Shelly, we didn't at first. We were just like, oh my God. Yeah, you can see the video. It's right there. We kissed in the car on the way home. It was like, oh, Tina lips. Oh my God. It felt like my lips were like sitting on a lip sofa. Like a memory foam lip sofa. Like, that's what my lips felt like. No, that's what your lips felt like. That's what my lips felt like on your lips. It felt like my two lips were taking a nap. It felt like my two lips were like getting a full body massage, but just on the lips from a memory foam sofa. Two lips. Double lips. Ooh, that felt good. Oh my god. Okay, anyway. Does she mind being exposed on the social medias? Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. You don't mind? Oh, I do mind. No, I do mind. Wait, what? What? You're being exposed right now. I'm showing you on the online right now. Oh, well, this is the most exposure that I'll do. Keep my little personal life to my. Yeah. I kind of feel bad for Chili sometimes because like I just brought her into all this. The YouTuber in my head was like, I got a long distance girlfriend. Oh, I see the views that these kind of videos get. I got to take advantage. But yeah, I kind of feel bad because she's not used to all this and all the comments and opinions and all that stuff. It's cool, but it's overwhelming, I'm sure, for her. Mm -hmm. But then there's some people at my school that think I'm with 
okay for like to say so he's just a youtuber and i want clout and all that crap like that happens like they don't actually know C and K and they just see whatever's online and they just go off of that chelly definitely more of a private girl what's your favorite food my favorite food is tacos Enchilada. are y'all zodiac signs match i don't think so what yeah, are you again matter. what are you again a faggotarist or something i believe Bro. Oh, you're a zebra. Damn, I'm a scorpion. Okay, do you ever think of marrying Shelly in the future? And Shelly, do you ever think of marrying him? Yes. <sighs> I do this think Shelly. Don't mean anything. No, 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 no. Shelly is i'm not trying to be lovey-dovey or anything but i do i do believe Shelly is the one. But yeah, i'm not really <laughs> thinking of marriage or anything. Like, if i do marry someone, like. I'm just, I'm just not trying to say anything. It's just so far down the road, you know? How was both of your first farts in front of each other? I didn't fart. It was all okay. Yeah, it was all me. My farts were pretty late, but Shelly has not farted in front of me, so yeah, I'm trying to see what's up with that. See what's good in the tank. But like, yeah, that'd be gross. My farts are pretty lit, but if Shelly farted, ooh, the carne asada, <laughs> the carnitas coming out with the pinto beans, oh, oh. I could not handle that. And I've never seen a girl fart, so that'd be disgusting. Is there any bad habits that you have that annoys Chelly? Yeah. I don't got any either. What was your longest video call? Eight hours. Do you love each other? Nah. <laughs> hey. I'm just kidding. Of course. What do you fight about? The long distance stuff. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> She's just crazy sometimes. I'm not crazy i don't know if it's latinas or it's the ladies maybe it's because okay, she's a latina not lady crazy unless somebody is driving us crazy who's driving so, you crazy then that. how did y'all know you guys were made for each other when we met <laughs> for me it was when i first when we first kissed like i just Aww. like i wanted to be in that moment forever Aww. yeah How this long distance relationship made you guys change? A little more. It's not because this is a long distance relationship, but mainly because it's just like my first real relationship. This is my first real girlfriend. This is my first love, basically. And um, being in a relationship this long, I just I learned to be a man, basically. How to keep a girl. I think I just really learned what's up. Could you imagine yourself growing old with him or her? Yes. Uh, yes. Well... I think we finished the video. I think we did it. We did it. So yeah, those are the questions. Thank you to East Me East for partnering with us on this video. Check it out with the link in the description. I'm telling you, it's basically made for you to find your love. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like pottery. Shall we? Yeah.